Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. We have your spring soulmate and feminine. So the feminine energy, of course, um, this could um, definitely be a, a message for you, divine feminine. You could have a soulmate. You could have met this person in the spring or you will receive this type of um, partnership by the spring. OK, but it looks like with spring, this is saying that your love life is blooming, it's blossoming. Some of you could already be in some type of connection, but by the spring, things could be really moving to a more serious level for you guys. Journal right now um, and marriage is here. Some of you guys could really be scripting or manifesting, writing. Um, you could be writing down your list of what you want in a partner. That's never a bad thing. Trying to figure out what exactly um, is compatible for you and what's not. But divine feminine, you're definitely you're looking for your person, or you you, you of course you want to be found. There's a lot of manifestation here, but some of you guys are coming out of a cycle, okay? With ego here, you're coming out of a cycle with someone who could have been very toxic, okay? This could have been a connection where there was a bit of codependency, toxicity here. Spirit is saying at this time you need to take pride in yourself. Also with the ego card here, this is saying that although you've been in some tough karmic cycles, it is now time for you to let your guard down so that you can actually receive. There's memories of a masculine though that kind of keeps you in your, your mind, okay? So yeah, you need to be grounded because you're about to go on a new sacred journey. Whatever happened with um, these memories that are coming back up for some of you with past lovers, friends, family, or whatever, this was all a part of your sacred journey to help you better understand who you are. So you've gone through a lot of self-discovery and through discovering who you truly are after these various situations that you've been in, it seems like you're now preparing yourself for your actual life partner, okay? Please understand that on this journey, the same way that you are being prepared for um, new opportunities, commitments, or union, the person that you are with or that you will meet is also going through the same thing. I want to make sure that it's always um, mentioned, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, that a lot of people, they miss out on really good relationships because you think that because you've been through so much that the person that comes into your life, they're going to be perfect. Every single person that comes into your life, especially a spiritual um, partner, there's going to be lessons and with lessons, there's going, there doesn't have to be trauma. Okay. But um, there will be new perspectives, new views, points of views that there, there will be a, a lot of opportunities for you to compromise. I'll, I'll say that. Um, the outcome card is here. So I feel like when it comes to whatever situation you've been through, something is, is finally concluding. All right. Some of you are writing like a goodbye letter or it may not be a bad idea for you to do that. Winter. Yeah. Feeling left out in the cold. But maybe this went between winter and spring, something is going to change. But you have inner child here and free will. So you have choices and decisions to make at this time. Something here can't be forced. And you have to make sure that you check in with your inner child to know that you have to enjoy the present moment. There's no need for you to constantly want to go back to the past. You also can't bring the past into the present. So if there is something that um, happened in your past that left you wounded, be very careful not to bring that into your current situation. So some of you have a fear of being left out in the cold because it has happened with friends, family, and past lovers. This is putting you in um, a bit of ego. And when I say ego, I'm not talking about being cocky, conceited. Ego is, is fear-based. Ego is you putting on a certain persona or facade because you don't want to get hurt because there's a fear of being vulnerable. Remember, this could be you or this could be someone that you've connected with or you're about to connect with. Wow. Here's marriage and here's union. What you want is being manifested though. But yeah, there's a transformation that has to take place. Okay. Okay. 
So Spirit is saying that you're ready or you're getting ready for the next level. It's like the time has come. Wow. So the very first card that popped out is the Three of Pentacles. Jumping into the tarot now. I don't really use these cards, so I'm not familiar with the images, but I want to get as many messages as I can from the different images. Um, one thing I will say is that in this card, I feel like this is a, some of you, you have a partnership that's coming in where you both will be working towards something together for sure. There's companionship and partnership here, but what I noticed in this particular card it almost looks like this man, like he's tired or he's wounded. And the feminine here seems to be doing work, but I feel like these two people, there's an opportunity for you to pick, like, recognize what your strengths and weaknesses are. This person, this man really looks like he's working hard. But these two people, like I said, for some of you, whatever you're about to build, it's like you're starting from the from the bottom. But you need to understand what are your what are your plans? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? So that when you team up with a person, you're very clear about where you need help and you know exactly where to help that person so that you can come together and have a true partnership to build a foundation. That's very, very important. So this is why this transformation is happening too for you to figure out who are you, you know, will of fortune. Something here is destined. It brings good karma. And then here's the Ace of Swords. Once again, here is the Empress. So there's a lot of creativity here. But Divine Feminine, it looks like you've been at a crossroads and a stalemate energy about how to move forward. Um, there's a need for you to release some kind of baggage, but it feels like with the unknown card, you keep trying to dig deeper to figure out a situation. You could be confused about someone currently in your life, or you're still confused about someone that perhaps you've walked away from and they've walked away from you. But something here is about to come in very quickly with the eight of wands here. This could be some kind of communication. And I feel like, to be honest, the, the nine of swords, it's going, it could be hurtful. It could put you... Um, in this energy of being very just weary, worried, tired, aggravated, upset. And it's going to, yeah. Some of you guys, to be com perfectly honest, you're still a little um, confused about whether or not you should move on from a person. Whether this person is in your life now or is someone from your past. You're going to receive some kind of news or communication. Um, you and this person, you could have a conversation. You could even have an argument with this person. Um you could travel somewhere with this person and you may not like the way that you're treated. Okay. Something is going to lead to you making a final judgment call here to end something, or you're finally going to see that a situation was needed for you to actually, I guess, walk away to be perfectly, to just being honest, the fool card, the five of swords, and then the fool, the five of swords. Yeah. Hearts never break evenly. It's like you and someone, it's time for you to realize that, okay, you, you need to give this situation up. It's not, it seems like this is some type of dead end situation that's actually blocking someone else from coming in. Or this is someone that keeps coming in with an offer, but it's a fickle type of offer with the Knight of Cups. And what they end up doing is they block you. They block you from being able to see anyone else. They block you from seeing that there is an offer here coming in from an emperor. Yeah, but the tower is here in the three of wands. There is some kind of divine intervention here for you to grow and expand and have the two of cups. The type of love that you've been fantasizing about, but the world, something has to end. There is something that you can no longer hold on to. Spirit is saying, yes, you do need to walk away from something or someone. And the reason I'm saying that is because the wheel of fortune is here in the ace of swords. And again, this may, this could be someone that's in your life now. You're trying to build a foundation possibly with someone and it's just, it's not moving forward. Some of you, for sure, you could be in long-term committed relationships or married or you're in something that's casual right now. You want more than what you're receiving. 
or you're in separation from someone that you feel is a soulmate or a twin flame and it's, it's just not progressing the seven of cups here you have to get serious with yourself that there is some kind of dream fantasy or even an illusion that the world it needs to end because by keeping this cycle open what you're doing is you're telling the universe right now that you have not quite learned your life lesson therefore this karmic cycle here is not fully closing the hermit we're in virgo season right now virgo season just officially started and then the six of cups with the hermit card and the six of cups i feel like there's a healing of the inner child some type of soul searching or introspection that needs to happen um, some of you want to be in this playful, you know, energy where you can really enjoy the moment and you can just, you know, really, really live and not just exist. Um, you want to be in this feminine energy and have a soulmate. A soulmate is someone that's going to teach you life lessons, but it's not that constant um, mirroring effect where it, it's hurtful or it has to be painful, you know, Um some of you guys, you really need to write down strengths, weaknesses, pros and cons, what you really want in a person, what are your deal breakers, what are your negotiables. You need to be very clear on those things. And I feel like right now, Virgo season is calling for us all to get very clear about who and what we want, as well as just who we want to be before anyone may enter your life. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. There's still some kind of burden here that has to be dropped, but it looks like you're at the tail end of it. Once you go in inward and you realize that there is something here that you're still holding on to, it could just be like some kind of repressed or submerged emotions that you have towards somebody. And it doesn't even have to be a romantic partner. Sometimes we can have, um, there could be unresolved trauma. Yeah. From family situations, you could still be angry or hurt because, um, of, a friendship that went wrong, a past relationship, you know, there could be job loss, financial issues. It could be so many different things here, but there is some type of burden that someone is still carrying. And it, it tends to make you either feel like you're out in the cold or you have a fear that if you get with somebody, you may leave that person out in the cold or make them feel like they're out in the cold because you're still waiting on something to fully end. But it looks like once that that ending happens and you you learn this lesson here with the hermit card and you truly go within and get clarity about something, you're going to be ready to start a new journey. You're going to start a journey with a soulmate or for some of you, a twin flame and the two of you, either you're going to learn a lot of lessons together or you both have already learned very similar lessons. So it's going to be easier for them to understand you. Knight of Cups, yeah. So somebody is coming in to offer something to the Divine Feminine. And I feel like this person is coming in. It's like some of you, you got you have a person that's coming in, they have a lot of respect for you. You may meet someone while you're working or traveling. <laughs> As I say, traveling, Six of Swords comes out. Six of Swords is a car of travel. But you see how it's like the swords are here and she has those two swords in her hand, in her hand. This is coming out with the Wheel of Fortune. So with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords, this is definitely saying that it's time now for good fortune. There is a turning point happening in your life where you really need to let go of a situation that has caused you to feel like you're restricted, especially just in your mental space. Some of you right now, it, it may not be a bad idea for you to consider moving or relocating, having some type of change of scenery, maybe even just going on a vacation. Because with the Page of Pentacles and the Emperor, wow, and the King of Cups, you really could meet somebody traveling. Or, or you could have re recently relocated or someone is new to your area. You bump into this person Two of Wands. Yeah, this person may come towards you ready to take action. Make sure you're not in this Nine of Wands energy, though. This is why right now Spirit is really saying heal, heal, heal. Because somebody is coming towards you and it could easily be a missed opportunity if you're still hanging on to baggage from the past. Something is coming towards you and it's a very passionate new offer here. Wow. Literally, you have the Justice card, the Ace of Wands, and the Lovers. 
this is like your true divine justice here the ace of swords once you have some type of download like the, like the spirit spirit is going to share something with you you could receive this in a dream some type of download however you receive your downloads just once you get some type of mental clarity about a situation that has ended something that um maybe you've been dealing with someone that's very narcissistic egotistical whatever once you really really see the truth in this situation all of a sudden exactly what you want is going to manifest that's the reason why i suggest some of you you need to write down what you want because i feel like whatever you write down and you set your mind to it's going to actually come for sure into fruition yeah the four of swords here taking some time out to rest to retreat to heal okay really manifest the stars here what what do you really want but you need some type of renewal here there's a lot here with like your peace your inner truth and clarity is trying to make space for like literally like a miracle in your love life the eight of wands and again for some of you you could be with someone right now you could be single okay you could be single and, and mingling whatever the case is so something could go to the next level with someone that you're currently with or if you're completely single when you go out i feel like you're going to manifest exactly what you want the wow the sun this is so good it's like see i'm all i can say is you get what you want the ten the ten of swords is here though the ten of swords there is something very hurtful wow yeah the ten of swords the moon and the seven of swords you have been deeply hurt and wounded by someone or this is the person that you're connecting with this is a very painful ending but this is a type of ending it, it takes you to the to rock bottom this is where that final judgment comes from behind this is a king of pentacles eight of wands and then the page of swords some of you you have a king of pentacles person and if they don't have to be um capricorn virgo taurus sun sign this person knows that this emperor king of cups who is wish fulfillment is coming into your life they know it and they're they're trying to block it Mm -hmm. six of cups six of wands yeah you're about to have victory and success for some of you with the fire sign possibly an aries and they don't have to be a fire sign but the thing about the element of fire is it's about action you have somebody that's being manifested in your life or they're already in your life they're all about action this person here the six of wands victory success this is a person who is very proud of their accomplishments their victory their rewards their recognition this person is standing there with a lion this this person here has this is like an eagle or a hawk and his hand is on these orbs this is an emperor who they understand the spirit like spirit world the physical world they're they're just there um I feel like this person's feminine and masculine energy is balanced as well because this energy is coming out with the king of cups so this person is like it's like fire and water i feel like this is someone too who they kind of allow you to go from girl to woman or from boy to man um you walk away from the wounded side of yourself where you're you're guarded this person is, is so masculine it allows the feminine to feel like it's safe to actually receive because this this is a take charge kind of person this person is honest but see this king of pentacles person here they keep rushing in and with the page of swords i feel like a lot of you usually the page of swords speaks of like someone watching you stalking spying or you being very curious but the page of swords is all about communication i feel like for some of you because there's a, a a woman on this card especially if you're the divine feminine and divine feminine can be male or female some of you you can see this king of pentacles energy coming from a mile away you can see it you can already sense this <clears throat> and it's something that makes you curious it, it's it's a person for some of you you know how everyone kind of has like their karmic that has a hold on them or the one they got away this is a situation with this king of pentacles where i feel for many of you it's that 
you always wonder, well, what would it have been like? Or what could it be like? There should have, would have, could have energy with this person. But Spirit is saying, here, you need to go ahead and call judgment on this situation and go towards a Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is go towards a situation where there is equal give and take. Go towards a person that wants to be generous. Go towards a person that can, whoa, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Go towards the person that comes towards you and they have an actual plan and they're taking action with the plan. Not somebody who is always stuck in limbo, two of wands, nine of pentacles. Somebody here moves really, really slow and they tell you that they want to um, make actions or plans, but they move very slow. The nine of pentacles is not bad because this means that someone usually is serious about what they want to do. They're reliable. But sometimes I feel like for some of you right now, you're already so tired and wounded from so many betrayals. You're ready for something new. You're ready for something exciting. You're ready for um, a, just a fresh new beginning where it's, it's something that brings hope. I feel like there's a person that's in your energy. They cause you to wonder too much. They cause anxiety because the, like the unknown car, you just never know. You never know what this person is coming with. The Hermit. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. You're going to have to go within and heal from some type of deception, some type of betrayal. And this is also recognizing that there's been some, a bit of self-deceit here. You're trying to convince yourself that something is going to be your Ten of Cups, that it's going to bring you this joy and this happiness, and, and it's just not. You, it, it's something here that you've definitely invested in and it's I just it's not going to be what you want it to be the ten of wands and the strength yeah you're going to have to have the strength to go ahead hit the kill switch pull the, the plug on a situation here and go out and celebrate have a good time meet new people you need to be around people who support your new path some of you, maybe you've been in a long-term situation and you know it's just over, but you're not letting go because you and this person, maybe you have the same friends or family, you know, the mutual friends or family, you could be whatever, and you're unhappy. Yeah, justice. Justice is like, you're going to have to speak the truth about something to set yourself free because something here is unfair. A bunch of cards just fell. Judgment, King of Wands, Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Judgment is saying that you need to look over the past, assess, evaluate, have, you know, compassion for yourself, forgive yourself and the person from the past. But the Two of Cups is here with the King of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. The Page of Pentacles is, it's time for you to be optimistic about whatever you're building like you've been doing the work and once you let go of something eight of wands something is going to move at a rapid pace and here's that king of wands again someone is going to come in passionate about a relationship an equal give and take connection here and this king of pentacles every time this king of pentacles comes in they come with stagnation every card that's coming out around the king of pentacles is a card of delay stagnation um indecision you have the lovers the lover speaks of a choice so you have to make a choice between this king of wands and this king of pentacles one of them brings a passion new beginning and look at what we have here the queen of wands you're supposed to be with one of these people the one who's going to take action the one who despite you being in the nine of wands is wounded warrior like energy because you've been so betrayed who is actually taking action who can handle you just some of you you're very fragile <laughs> i have to just say it look at all these swords five of swords three of swords this heartbreak this pain the fact that you had to walk away from someone or someone walked away from you and you don't feel like this was fair this is really really causing a lot of pain here's a nine of swords it's like you're looking out and you want to grow, you want to heal, you want to expand, you want your ships to come in. But there is the nine of swords here, five of swords, three of swords. I mean, there's more than 10 swords. It's like 
there is something here that has you feeling so bad. And I feel like it's more in your subconscious mind. A lot of divine feminists are so strong. You get up, you walk around, you smile every day, but through your smile, you're actually crying and nobody knows it. But you feel, th this energy just feels like you're so completely depleted. Some of you have been very, um, you've been betrayed badly by your family. But what you have is through working harder through your healing journey right now, Again, you're manifesting all of these pentacles. Some of you, your pain is turning into purpose and it's going to bring you a lot of profit. Some some of you literally, you're going to throw yourself into work or some kind of creative project to try to get your mind off of a painful situation. And it's going to put you on a brand new path. It's definitely going to bring in a lot of financial security and stability. And you're going to start looking at your past in a totally different way. But the, the hangman also speaks of a sacrifice. You're going to have to sacrifice what happened to you in the past, the pain that came with it, take the lesson from it and build something. Because some of you, you're becoming a star. Some of you by sharing your story, you're literally going to become a star. Or your story is going to help so many other people have more hope, more faith in like these miracles or blessings that are coming specifically like in your love life because i feel like some of you now your financial situation is about to change because again let's remember you have this emperor like energy out here so whoever this person is you and this person could come together and you could work on some type of project together this is someone who's probably going to be very encouraging I say all the time, without peace of mind, you can't manifest. When you get this person out of your energy that always has you trying to figure out, should you stop, should you go, you know, this red light, green light game that someone is playing here, that always has you feeling left out in the cold. Some of you, you've been rejected, abandoned, and abused too much in your life for you to be with a person who is not sure about you. No matter how strong you are, you're still very fragile. So if you're dealing with the type of person they don't know what they want, you you're going to you just have to leave that person where they are. You're I don't care how strong you are. It's time for you to be feminine. You shouldn't have to be so strong as a feminine energy. You've carried enough on your back already. So whoever this King of Pentacles person is, this very, you know, King of Pentacles stuck in their ways, okay? Um you want this person to come in and help you or save you. Be there for you, the five of pentacles. You may want this person to help you financially, whatever the case may be. They're not doing it. They they leave you hanging in limbo. When you sacrifice this connection, the real connection, come, something new comes in. The fool and the new connection comes in with the eight of pentacles. The security, the stability, the long term commitment. It's a commitment, not a promise. Somebody here makes you a lot of broken promises and gives you a lot of false hope. The magician is in the reverse. Whoever this person is, they're very manipulative. They're very manipulative. Their energy is, is scattered. I don't feel like this person can really manifest much or they don't they don't contribute to your your energy to manifest. You will know because with it, you can't manifest anything with this person. It doesn't matter how long you've known this person. Most likely you haven't been able to manifest anything with them. This is someone that they're either really stingy, cocky, superficial all the time. It's a situation ship where you're always in separation with this person. There's just no progression. Spirit is saying stop digging with the unknown card coming up for like the fourth time. Something about this situation you don't know, you don't understand, and you don't have the time to figure it out. You need to go within yourself and figure out why do you want to understand why this connection with this person is not working. When you finally realize that it has nothing to do with you and you move on, your blessings will come. Knight of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles.
The Four of Pentacles usually can speak of lack, especially financial lack. Um, but it also can speak of someone holding back, um, saving, preserving something because they have a plan to build something. The Ace of Cups is here. I don't want, let me get one more card on this Knight of Pentacles. Page of Cups and then the Ten of Cups. So this Knight of Pentacles, somebody is either in your life or coming in your life. They're going to give you something that you can hold on to that is reliable. This person wants to build something. They actually want to protect you from this Ten of Swords. Yeah, this Ten of Swords that you don't, um, you're still digging to understand. They're like, don't worry about it. Let's just start over. And if you give this person an opportunity, this page of cups, page of pentacles are for, it will turn into the, the ten of cups. Yeah, but the page of wands, you're going to have to be passionate now about getting justice for yourself for you to have wish fulfillment. Yeah, the devil, it's a lot of illusions. The devil, the moon, and the night of wands. This hot and cold in and out energy. I'm telling you, death. You have to let it go. Whoever this hot boy, hot girl energy is, they're they're blocking you from this emperor. And when you put an end to it, it's like the emperor and the chariot. You get into this boss energy. You attract this boss divine being. And you move forward victoriously. It's a clear message here. Um, I, I'm trying. I, I hate when the messages say the same thing. Oh, this message is very clear. It's somebody in your life or in your energy. They have to go. They're they're standing right in front of your true person. And some of you, you've already met this person. And if you're wondering, hmm, you know. Should I, should I go back to the past or when the past comes calling or knocking at the door? You're going to know. You should know clearly. Who are you manifesting with? Who are you learning from? Who are you growing and progressing with? Who's getting you closer to God? Which one? It should be very clear. And it's very um, hard for a lot of people to decide now because as the collective is going through this like ascension, you have a lot of people from your past as well as new people and people you haven't met who are all growing and evolving. So it's hard to tell, especially with the past, like, do they have good intentions? A lot of people are wondering, you know, should you go back to that person? Whoever you end up with, it's going gonna, it's gonna to always be a gamble. But for some of you, you've given a particular person so many opportunities to show you that you matter. And I feel like now, to be honest, Give yourself a chance to try something new. If somebody is meant to be with you, whether they're old or new, you're going to be with that person. This is like learning how to really surrender everything and be in that feminine energy and just know if you're whoever you are destined to marry, you will marry that person. If you leave them or they leave them, I'm sorry, if you leave them or they left you or whatever the case may be, if they if it comes back, and they come back the right way. Maybe it's then, but Spirit is saying, no, there's a new love here. A new love or a, a um, recommitment to love. Some of you, you're in a friendship with someone. And you could have like a twin flame connection. It's a, kind of, it's a divine counterpart connection. It says this friendship is leading to more. So you and this person, you could be exploring love. Now, as um, being more romantic or some of you, your twin flame, you and this person, you could have separated and you've just been friends for a long time. Maybe that person is reentering your life and it's going to feel like a new love. I'm just going to say, figure out who's putting forth the effort. Go slow. Take time to get to know this person. Financial challenges are affecting this situation. This connection is passionate but not enduring. Something here could be strictly sexual. And it's a past life 
connection. Your soul remembers an intense connection here. Hmm. So for some of you, you, you could possibly have someone that comes in kind of just to take your energy or it could be like a friends with benefits type situation. This could be someone that you've had like a past life connection with. So it's an intense kind of connection. But this connection could be standing in the way of you meeting your actual counterpart. It, yeah, it's time to make a decision about this relationship. Someone is secretly yearning for you. So your actual counterpart could be yearning for you and you could know them or not know them. Integrity. Does this situation align with your, your morals and values? So it's something here that you have to ask yourself. Is this what you would may want long term? Obsession. Someone here is gripped by obsessive thoughts. And it says take a leap of faith. It states to make the move that you're considering. You already know the answer that you seek because the intuition card is here. You know that there is someone that you're going to have to release. It's just like now you're, you're down to the wire. Somebody has to go. <laughs> they just, they have to, you have to say goodbye. It's for your greatest and highest good because... Someone is truly blocking true love from entering your life. And if this isn't a person that's in your life, just you reminiscing and being in this um, state of regret and grief over a situation that didn't work out. It's not allowing you to really open your heart up to something new. Yin and yang. So you definitely have like the counterpart here. Being at odds. <sighs> Drama. Okay. Sisterhood. So some of you are going to your friends or your family for advice and from the cards that I'm seeing, especially because I see power couple here, some of you, you need to stop going to friends and family about your relationship because all of these cards here speaks of drama, being at odds. It's like there's a yin and yang um, situation here. Like this is your other half. You and this person could be going through like your own spiritual awakening, but you and this person could possibly be at odds because of drama that is coming from people outside of you. This is if someone is currently in your life. Some of you, even if you haven't met this person just yet, you need to be very careful of who you are taking advice from. Um, for divine feminines who are female, especially those of you who are taking advice from um, other, other women, other feminine energies who have possibly had drama or they are possibly at odds with friends family or their lover the information that they give you is not going to be on the same frequency that you're on and it could actually mislead or misguide you because especially out here yeah some of you that right now you need to make sure that your decisions are based on what you want There's there's a need for there to ha for you to have boundaries here, but you have a very intense connection with someone, somebody, you know, and, and let's let's just be very real here for a minute, real raw. Those of you, especially if you're dealing with somebody and you have a connection, if it's moving slowly, somebody could be dealing with financial situations. Um, somebody could be healing from a situation, whatever the case may be. You could have people around you telling you like. You shouldn't talk to this person. Don't deal with that person. This could be your actual twin flame. Okay. 
Some of you, you have a person that's struggling in life and they're karmic. And you have people telling you to leave this person alone and you know you should. Your intuition is screaming at you about something. It could be either telling you that you don't need to be listening to the things that people are telling you. Or that you need to take another look and, and hear clearly what people are saying. Because you're, you're possibly not seeing something. That's really not what I'm getting though. I don't really feel like your intuition is leading you astray. I feel like some of you, as you're trusting yourself and standing up for yourself more, I feel like some of you are getting bad advice. And the bad advice for some of you is honestly coming from tarot. Especially with sisterhood, most tarot readers are, are females. And they read their cards according to their own uh, life experiences and their wisdom. What I say may not resonate with you, and that's perfectly fine. Find a reader that you resonate with, but make sure that you're not listening to someone that's still in a karmic cycle that you've already evolved and ascended from that's giving you advice because... Let's be honest, just because some, some people, just because some of the viewers you watch tarot, it doesn't mean that you're not high vibing. You could read tarot if you wanted to. You know, some people don't use cards at all. You don't have to put so much of your faith and your trust in, your, in a tarot reader or your friends or your family. Some of you, you're single and you're listening to people who are married because you think they know everything about marriage, but they may not be in a healthy marriage, Right? Some of you are married and you're listening to single people. They've never been married. So they can't really coach you. Just be mindful of your, your tools and your resources when it comes to your decision making. Same thing with men. Men tend to, tend to listen to their mom and their sister and their friends about relationships. And then they lose really good relationships and they're wondering why. Well, it's because you keep taking advice from all of the wrong people. You keep listening to your bros and you listen to your sister and your mom and half of these people, they don't even like the person that you're connecting with that's good for you. You know, because let's face it, friends and family, they have their own way of trying to get you to think a certain way about someone to leave people out in the cold because they're giving you information and advice from a place of their own ego. Friends and family will purposely try to keep you out of healthy relationships. And with the way this Jezebel energy has been out in the collective, that Jezebel spirit, it will use your friends and your family to create chaos, conflict, and a bunch of illusions to make you walk away from all things that are actually good for you. And this is why it's so important for people to keep their business to themselves because some of you, like I always say, everything is not Marvin Gaye and Lingerie. People in real relationships, they have problems. They have ups and downs. Some of those ups and downs and problems come at the beginning of a relationship and in the middle at the end. And you will have people at the first sign of an issue that you don't have a problem with. Somebody else will tell you, oh, no, that person's like this. You need to leave them out in the cold. That could be the person that God has chosen for you. So be careful of who you listen to. Even readers, that's why I, I try to constantly say, if you, if your intuition is telling you that you're, you belong with someone from the past, oftentimes the readings are showing that there's issues with the past, but pe past people can come back in new energy. They can grow. They can make sacrifices and lifestyle changes and can come back in a new energy. If you and that person are aligned, go for it. If they're coming to you with the same mess that they came to you during the last Mercury retrograde, shut it down. But when it comes to soulmates and twin flames, it's not a you don't assign it based on the person. It's the energy that the person carries. Everything is energy. Building a future. See what I'm saying? Somebody here wants to build a future with you. They want a new chapter. And deeper intimacy, law of attraction, exciting news, listen and reflect. Yeah, something here is 
And and this this is the the problem with tarot, especially people have become so accustomed to reading negativity that even when they see positivity, they still revert back to the negative message. Some of you, you have a person here, and it may not be all rainbows and lollipops today. But if somebody really cares about you, they really love you, like they they are aligned with your morals and your values. If you want to give it a chance, give it a chance. Because somebody here, yin and you literally have yin and yang here and building a future. And then being at odds, drama and sisterhood. Some of you, it's a woman that keeps trying to talk, talk down about a relationship or talk you out of something. Be careful. Because I'm going to tell you something, especially when you're dealing with people who are spiritually awakened and they have a certain level of self-awareness. Just being grown men and women don't participate in stuff like that. People who want seasoned, mature relationships, they don't do. See, I'm just going to keep it real raw with y'all for a minute. Women who don't know how to leave the nest and men who don't know how to leave the nest. A lot of people lose really good relationships because they don't know how to cut those friends and family. I'm not saying leave your friends and family. I'm talking about the ones that are gossiping and they're in a Jezebel energy themselves. And when you're dealing with a grown man or woman, they're not going to sit around and wait for you to understand that you need to stop dealing with certain people in your life that's causing delays in the two of you building a future. Some of you, the sacrifice that you need to make is the mindset that you can tell all of your business to your friends and your family about your relationship. Because they're behind the scenes praying that this, this possibly good situation goes downhill. It's a lot of gossip out here. <laughs> Family and friends. What did I just say? <laughs> it's like part of... Somebody here really wants the support of their family and friends and a connection. I feel like you guys will have good mutual friends. If this is a couple right now, it's like one, one of you, your family is supportive of this connection the other person you have family or friends that really aren't supportive of this connection because this card says the support of family and friends may help strengthen this connection and this also someone's miss somebody feels like they need the approval of their friends and family when it comes to their relationship and that's their biggest mistake Higher self, yeah. Somebody needs to listen to their higher self because this is coming right on the drama. Being at odds, some of you, you're you're at odds with a person because of your friends and family. And when it comes to this drama, you're gonna have to tap in with your higher self to see like something needs to change here. This is interesting. It's it's just somebody here that needs to go. And I, I think that Spirit is, is saying it's a friend or a family member. That they're really causing problems in your love life. This is somebody that also, they're hidden. They're, they're, they're cloaked and hidden. This person is in the spirit playing a lot of games. Somebody here has a friend, a family member, and I'm getting more so a woman. This could be someone's sister especially like a man with a sister or a woman, sister, cousin, mom, aunt, something like that. Somebody here is, they gossip and, and they don't, like, they're not happy for your relationships. They're not. This has been coming out every few weeks. So somebody here still has not put a family member or a friend in their place about their love life. Yeah, this that's part of the mystery here. 
sisterhood, clarity. Somebody is finally about to see that someone in, in their, their friend or family group was either right about what they were telling them about someone and you could be in denial about it or you have somebody that's secretly hating on you. Take it how it resonates. You're going to find out something that's going to be confirmed soon about something. Either somebody's going to see like, oh, somebody... You think that person is, is so in love with you. They're so supportive. The truth is going to come out that that person does not have your back. Or you're going to see that you have a friend or family member that's very jealous of the, the fact that somebody does have your back. Unexpected news, law of attraction, and past life. It's like you're manifesting a past life soulmate. And it's enchanted. I'm just because this 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 energy. I'm I'm gonna let the, the cards speak on this one. <laughs> Cause I don't listen, I don't want to be the sister or friend telling you move forward or move away. <laughs> I'm gonna let the cards say. <laughs> Cause it, it's different for everybody. The outcome will be different for every person. Look at that. Jealousy. Somebody is watching your connection. This person could be an air sign. Or an air sign could be significant. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You or your person could be an air sign. For some of you too, this could be even... Um, somebody here is longing for a connection. Or this could be someone's ex even. Missing you, desiring, and connection. But somebody is jealous. Somebody, for some of you, oh, I hate to say it. Somebody wants the type of connection that you have. And they're, they're, they're jealous. Therefore, look, this card will not go anywhere. I keep shuffling and it's still here. Within a few months. Somebody could know that within a few months, you're either going to be meeting like the love of your life. Or you and someone, jealousy still at the bottom of the deck, are going to be taking things to the next level. They're very jealous of that. Yeah. Deception. And this on this card is a woman. Betrayal. Somebody, look, it's somebody out here who is very, very deceitful. Could be a man, could be a woman. It's too many cards. Yeah, and somebody needs to stop and speak up and have boundaries. Somebody needs to have boundaries with this, this lying, cheating, dishonest person. You have here contemplation, heavy thinking, big decisions, taking a leap of faith, fresh start, starting over. You have um, a friendship here, chaser, solitude, dark night of the soul. Somebody needs to face their fear of having boundaries with a friend or a family member. Somebody here just keeps letting friends and family run over them and rule and control what they're doing. And Spirit is saying, you need to speak up. And see, like, you have big decisions to make in your life. And getting these, this output from these other people is not good. A water sign could be significant. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Secrets. Somebody is holding back. Overthinking. So you could have a water sign out here that's overthinking. A lot of holding back. Some of you too. I'm like, I don't like where this is going. Some of you have a friend or a family member who has betrayed you. This came out a few weeks ago. This is still in your energy. There's for sure somebody, there's two cards here of somebody holding back. Two cards of deception, betrayal, and cheating. And somebody is coming for you. You have friendship. Friends and family came out. So it's a it's a friend. There is 100% a friend who maybe they're going through the dark night of the soul. They feel bad for something that they did, did to you. 
finances. You have wealth blessings coming in your finances and romance. Getting to know each other. Y'all, I don't know. I'm, I'm picking up so many different messages here. You guys, let me know in the comments. Like, what is this situation going on? Union coming together. And here's the air sign. Dang. And proposal. So some of you either in Libra season, Aquarius will kind of be closer to spring, Aquarius, Gemini season. Somebody is watching you within a few months. You have somebody coming towards you. You can have more than one option in love. But there's a decision that has to be made. Divine Feminine, you have to make a decision. And you can have to make a decision between an air sign, a water sign, fire sign, or Divine Feminine. You and somebody that you're connecting with, you both have to make a decision. Somebody here, I feel they know who they want to be with, but there is somebody in the background who is very jealous and envious. There's a third party here, but this person, they're showing up energetically and spiritually, not physically. So this could be someone's ex or like I said, an old friend or family. Somebody here really wants to be committed and loyal to you, though. That's what I'm saying. I, this is just my own. In yeah. Someone who wants a connection is coming very soon with a gift. You guys could be definitely healing, meditating, doing your shadow work and introspection. Yeah, look, meditation, healing and awakening. But there is a woman out here who misses someone. And they're obsessed. Because somebody is healing and once somebody comes out of a dark night of the soul and healing I feel like they're going to want to go into a union and have a family. So let me just say, this is someone's ex-friend, family member, or an, an actual ex-lover. It's going to be different for everyone. You'll know in your situation what this is. Somebody out here is telling someone, though, that they need to hold back from a person they're saying this on purpose out of jealousy. They're being dishonest. And for some of you, this could have happened in the past. We are in Mercury retrograde. So a lot of the readings, that's why there's a lot of confusion in the readings because there's a lot of different timelines. For some of you, you have a friend. They could have told you that you needed to hold back from a person. It's because... Either they knew something about this person or they did something with that person and they, they still haven't told you the truth about it. That's what I'm really getting here. Okay, so for some of you in your past, you could have wanted to be with a particular person and you may have had like a go-to friend or family member that you would talk to about the situation. I feel like this person... They were keeping some type of secret. This could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody that you were in a friendship with. This person was afraid to tell you the truth about a situation. They could have known that somebody was deceiving you. But this person, they also betrayed you. In some situations, to be honest with you, someone that you were once with or that you wanted to be with, they betrayed you by doing something behind your back with a friend or family member. Okay? We're going to leave that at that. This is come. This came out a few weeks ago in a reading. And I, I see, obviously, it's still resurfacing. So these people are still energetically connected to you somehow. I feel like this secret is eating somebody alive. Because somebody is now going through a dark night of the soul and they're trying to decide if they should tell you this. Some of you, a person actually wants to come towards you and they would like to build a future with you, but they have held back some type of secret. Wow. I don't think that there's any way. I feel like this person's already burned a bridge with you. 
this person knows that if they were to tr tell you the truth about what happened with a friend or a family member, you would never deal with them. So now this person, they, they miss you, but they just stalk you obsessively on social media. But this connection with whoever this is, is forbidden. But for some of you, you may know about this situation and it's very hurtful or you're going to find out about it. It's very hurtful. Let me tell you something. Spirit is saying, please do not allow this to occupy your time, your space, or your energy because the real deal is here. The person that you're meant to go into a union with, the person who will propose marriage that um, currently has a crush on you within a few months, you and this person could be like in a serious relationship coming very soon. The person that you're going to build a life, a home with who will be loyal to you, this is who you, somebody, you deserve this really good person. Somebody who was in their ego has betrayed you with a friend or a family member and they would like to come back in, but it's, it's forbidden. The bridge has been completely burned. You've already walked away from this person because of what you knew. I'm telling you, and, and it came out earlier kind of in the reading because I saw judgment and death. If you knew everything that this person has done to you, especially considering for some of you, somebody from your past, they've done something with a close friend or family member. I'm telling you, sometimes things come in to break your heart because it needs to fix your vision and save your soul. This heartbreak is saving you, your soul, because somebody is willing to come back towards you. That same King of Pentacles energy. This person is very manipulative, very charming, very manipulative. This person has betrayed you with somebody that you know. I'm telling you. And you may have had a dream or a download. I think I said that earlier when I saw the Ace of Swords. Maybe it has not been confirmed, but just like the car, you already know the answers that you, your intuition has told you that somebody that you once cared a lot about, two people, a lover and a family member, a friend, they've done something behind your back that was extremely deceptive. You literally have here two cards of deception. It's a man and a woman. And this person is like, don't you dare tell my sis or my bro or my best friend what happened between us. Because I feel like somebody was saying like, hey, let's, let me speak up about it. This masculine, one of these two people is like, I need to tell divine feminine what happened because this is killing somebody. This could be your friend or your sis, like your sister or brother. Somebody misses your friendship. They can't face you, though, because they know they betrayed you with somebody that you, for some of you, you, you could be with this person now or you wanted to be with this person. Some of you, you have a friend that's not coming around. That's the reason why. They betrayed you. Yep. But you can believe this. These people, they watch you nonstop online. They're very curious. They watch you from a distance. They're going to see you get married and be happy from a distance. Man, I had a reading about this like two weeks, like a week or two ago. Yeah, your self-worth. You have confidence in yourself. Some of you were in denial about a situation. Like I said, um, I think before I was saying it's a situation. It makes you think, well, what's wrong with me? There is something here you're being protected from spirit. Some of you, if you really knew the truth about what happened, it will crush you because you've been through so much. Spirit is really trying to protect you. Spirit is like, you already know that this has happened. I don't really need to come in with any more like clarity or confirmation for you because it's going to bring up so many repressed emotions that you have. And it's going to trigger you to feeling rejection. Spirit is like, I need for you to make sure you get to the next level and you meet this person that you're manifesting that's manifesting you. Because if you really knew about this situation, you will probably like spaz out. Spirit is saying, just rise above. What you don't know, it's not going to hurt you any more than what your intuition has already told you.
because there's some kind of drama here. Here's another card about drama. It's something here very petty. Spirit is like, don't worry about it. Something much better is coming in. This card, look at what it says. Let it go and let it be. If you feel like this has happened or you had a dream, take it for whatever for whatever it is, but just move forward. This is a part of a karmic cycle that has to just be completely closed out. There, there's nothing more to see. There's nothing more to say. Lessons. That's all it is. Lessons. Look for the lesson in this situation. Forgive these people and move on because your goal, your biggest goal is for you to have your own family. Don't worry about how your friends or your family betrayed you. Focus on starting your own family, building the future and the family that you want. You guys are about to have like the family, the success, the financial abundance, everything that you want, but you're being protected from some type of drama. It's something like even this reading for some of you is going to be very, I can feel it. It's very triggering because it's like twisting the lid of, of a jar of worms. You just, you don't even need to open this. Just leave it. Seriously. Whoever this message is for, I, I feel like I'm talking directly to you. Leave this where it is. Just go to your new beginning. Go towards your new life, your new partner. You don't need this lover. You don't need this friend. They betrayed you. If they come back into your life, you will always be trying to figure out, will they do the same thing to you again? It's not worth the stress. It's not. Why they did this to you, who knows? But this is somebody that you was once going to telling them all your bit, you know, and it, it happens. We see it in the TV shows, the movies. Your confidant betrayed you. And like I said, whoever this message is for, you feel that you feel this in your bones. I don't know why. Maybe it's the Pisces full moon that's coming up, but like after every reading, even during the readings, like I'm always wanting to just cry. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to cry because I can feel this, but I just want you to see the cards here. Proposal. Somebody wants you bad, but this is a secret admirer. Okay. For some of you, this is someone from your past, but I, there's two people here. There was clear with the, the tarot, the tarot cards. There's two people. You have a person, they want to come back in, but they've done so much reckless stuff to you behind the scenes. God is like, no, I will never let that person get close to you. There's a person that is longing to have a family and they want to be loyal. They will give you gifts, something you can hold, something you can cherish very soon. But somebody here fell into temptation they're obsessed with you divine feminine this person is trying to escape because they realize now that they lost their friend trying to keep a secret from you because they had no boundaries this person did something with someone that was connected to you romantically and i feel like it's somebody that you cared a lot about yeah So be careful of somebody, this, this like charming Casanova um, person that may try to come in throwing money at you. They want to wine and dine you. This person has a secret and you already, for some of you, you already know about like a karmic in their life. They're not going to tell you about the secret though of them dealing also with one of your friends or family members. So those people are not around you. You're not missing out on anything. This is, this is really sad to me. It's sad to me because what spirit is saying is that I don't want you to be hurt anymore than what you already are. They're saying, please do not go looking for any evidence or anything else of this situation because it's one thing to hear about it and to suspect it before to actually be confirmed is going to set you back. This is going to make you sick. 
because you're going to want to know what, what, when, where, why, how, how many times, you know, don't, don't go down the rabbit hole with this, please. I may not even post this reading because I don't even want to trigger this. Like, I'm really, really sad reading this. This is not what I wanted to hear in a love reading. There's something so beautiful here, but it's just, it's a warning though, man, this person from your past or someone that it could be in your life now, whoever this person is, man, they're a snake. This is a real snake. But these people are going to watch you have like the most amazing life. They're going to really see, yeah, friendship. This is a friend who betrayed you and you make, you need to make a decision. A friend made a decision to have a strictly sexual relationship with someone that you were once with. They could have been down on their luck with finances. So you, there could have been um, a person out here who had money. And this person may have decided that they were going to work with this person or it was some kind of collaboration or something like that. And it, it turned into more. Please, I'm going to I probably will release this because somebody needs to know because somebody out here is probably going to allow this person to try to come into their life and get swindled into something starting over with them, this person. Only to find out later all of the betrayals. And to run into the drama. And that's just going to set you back. This never ending story with this person. It has to end. There's always going to be so much more that you don't know about this person. That's going to come out every single time they come into your life. I'm I'm so sorry. Like I'm really sorry. I, I feel sorry for being the one that has to say this. Somebody here, you were, you slept with your biggest enemy. This lover is a snake. This friend is a snake or family member. They're snakes. If you're not in contact, please say nothing. Pray about it. Forgive. You go out. You have a good time. You meet, you meet this person that wants to marry you. And give you the world. And you let these people watch. Continue to stalk you. Online. And let their guilt. Eat them up. And twist them. Because that's how my, my stomach feels like. It's twisting and turning. Somebody here is sick about what they did to you. Because I promise you it wasn't worth it. Because whoever this masculine is. This person is not committed to anybody. And this same sister, friend, or bro, or whomever, however the situation goes for you, that thought that they were getting something by dealing with this person, they've been discarded by this narcissistic masculine as well. Now they're walking around with a broken heart, grief, regret, and they lost their best friend. Somebody here has lost somebody who was always in their corner because they were just they decided to betray you. But I'm telling you this situation, even this reading, I feel like whoever hears this is going to fall on the ears of people who were suspecting it. This is your confirmation. But please do not reach out to these people. You take this confirmation to your grave. There's nothing that needs to be said.